you've returned. Do enlighten me with tales of what transpired within Shakan. I see. So that is what happened. As I suspected, you fought the obstinate Abdiel. But I'm certain such a battle served as a valuable lesson to her. The more pressing matter is that girl Yoko Hiramine. So, she has regained the power of a goddess. Apparently. In ancient times, the gods that ruled the world were chosen by the goddesses of creation. Their purpose was to select the god that would become the next ruler. But the creator viewed this custom as a threat. As such, Yoko Hiromine was sealed away by the creator 18 years ago. And as irony would have it, she came to serve battle as an exceptional demon exorcist in the current day. Indeed. Her trust in the creator was betrayed, and she came to harbor a deep hatred for Bethel. It is likely she made a deal with the Kadishtu in exchange for their assistance. Afterwards, she worked alongside the Kadishtu in order to reclaim her power. No doubt that is why she approached you as well. It was surely connected with the Kadishtu's aims. In other words, the Yoko Hiramine you met could be seen as a manifestation of the goddess Yoko who was sealed away. Now that she's attained her apotheosis, her true goal is utter annihilation. Now, Hobino, if possible, I ask that you make your way to the Imperium and stop her. It is the world's fate to be remade. Birth, death, then rebirth. But if the throne is destroyed, that cyclical system will fail. Without the remaking of the world, all of humanity's souls will be lost, doomed to eternally wander the abyss. My lord does not wish for that to happen. Please lend us your strength, Nahobino. As a Nahobino, we could potentially ascend the throne there and reshape the world. Is Bethel saying they'll allow this? In any case, we should return to Tokyo for now. There is much to fill you in on, and we should discuss our next move. Strength is low, low. I'm going to begin to explain the Shikan, the power of the second of glory is waning. In Tokyo, we know it is beginning to disappear. The only way we can say Tokyo is by unseating the creator with the power of a Nahobino. In other words, we must assume the throne at the Empyrean and recreate the world ourselves. This will be a long conversation, but the information is vital for a coming battle. Listen closely. I'll tell you everything I know about Nahobino and the power to reshape the world. Ever 
since time out of mind. The gods would do battle for the right to rule the world. Before the creator reigned supreme, the throne belonged to Baal, god of the harvest. And even before that, it was held by Ra, the sun god. Every god who assumes the throne obtains its vast power, enough to reshape the world however they see fit. As such, many a god has fallen in pursuit of that power. I'll tell you everything I know about Nanobino. The throne of creation lies at the pinnacle of Empyrean heaven, or simply the Empyrean, as it has become known. That is where the creator would be now, were he not ousted by Lucifer, as was claimed. Considering our fusion into a Nahabino, the claim is likely valid. Only Nahabino are allowed in the Empyrean sacred space. As such, none have entered thus far. But you, however, can. I'll tell you everything. The throne of creation exists to prove one's dominion over the earth. Whoever assumes the throne may determine the world's laws and inner workings, much like how the creator established his own order. Before the Creator, many other gods fought viciously over the throne, and hence the right to rule the world. And in order to save Tokyo, we must do the same. I'll tell you everything I... Anahobino is a god in the fullest, or truest sense. Our original form, if you will. In ancient times, we were all Anahobino. But when the Creator took the throne, he demanded there be no other gods before him and diabolized us all. He accomplished this by spiriting our knowledge away. Without the knowledge needed to shape a functioning world, we ceased to be divine, and were left to contend with our fallen nature. Our knowledge was sealed within the Garden of Eden. Mortals soon ate of its fruit, binding all knowledge to their souls and all who came after. Ever since the fall of man, demons have vied to steal the souls of humankind and restore their former selves. But they were doomed to fail. Long it was futile to seek out our knowledge and reclaim our former glory. But with Armageddon fulfilled, the rules have yet again changed. Algami's true name is Susano. As proto fiend, he was created to inherit the Amatsukami's full power. I myself provided the temple. And as I've said before, I am Sukoyomi of the Amatsukami. It is my personal mission to become a Nahobino and rescue Tokyo from the mouth of danger. But to do that, I require your aid. With that said, I must begin investigating a way to reach the Empyrean. I'm fairly certain the secret lies in Ueno, given the density of Bethel's security there. So, I will concentrate our branch's efforts on that. I will contact you the moment I turn up a solid end. <laughs> And this is where the story, the canon of creation and the canon of vengeance start to mend together. This is where they start having their familiarities. The familiarities. Arities. Wait a minute, can I? Let me go to my room just in case we save. And there's like a changing um just in case there's a game changing decision we have to make. Good to see you safe. The 
that's how you knew. She did die. And the form I hold now, it is her soul reborn by a power beyond description. As goddess of creation, my purpose is to guide the Nahobino to the throne. We nodded last time, but I'm trying to get a certain ending, so I might want to nod again. Uh, yeah. Time to get the hell on. So that was that. 